time has come at last, dear reader. While we began this tale long ago, we hope it is yours to finish. But this story is not yours alone. No, it is tied to another. And the journey you take together could change the fate of both our worlds. Shall we begin? Yeah. They called it the Cinder Knight. What came from those dark, starless skies would change the world of Moss forever. The peace that had settled across the land was broken by an unconquerable nightmare. And that night, the animals nearly met their end. First, they killed the king. A winged creature broke from the shadows and plucked him from his royal bedchamber high atop the tallest tower. Next, the serpent Sarfog and the armies of the Arcane tore up from the underworld. They ravaged the castle in search of that which gave the king power beyond understanding. One of the fabled glass relics. The king's guard fought bravely, but the castle soon pulsed with the arcane's evil. Every room was gutted, every statue, tapestry, and adornment hexed. But the glass was never found. Even the reclusive sprites set aside their differences on that faded night. They sent a great champion, empowered by their own glass relic, to challenge the serpent and its steel army. Meanwhile, Sir Argus, commander of the King's Guard, led the survivors west through a temple long abandoned by their ancestors and far away from their newly risen enemies. It was an arduous escape. Finally, after passage beneath the impassable mire, they found refuge in a clearing hidden safely in the trees. Argus charged back to join the Sprite Champion at the Mire's edge. Together, they fought back the Arcane and sealed the Temple Passage that led to the clearing. But the Champion was gravely injured. Clutching his glass, he retreated deep into the forest where he drew his last breath. A large tree grew upon him. It stood many years in watchful duty, safeguarding the glass and awaiting its next hero. That hero, albeit an unlikely one, did arrive at a time she'd be needed most. Quill was out adventuring beyond the edge of the clearing. Dusk was creeping in, but she wondered what she might find if she went just a little farther. <laughs> she got to look out for this dude. She was not exactly sure what she roused, but she felt no danger from the beings silently peering down at her. Quill had to hurry. 
The village gates would soon close, and night would follow. Alright, yeah, so we use Quill with the left stick. She jumps with X. Square is my attack. Triangle does nothing. R2 moves some stuff around. Some grabbing stuff, so let's move a Quill. Already just a beautiful looking game. The 3D audio sounds great. I feel like I'm in the forest. Sounds like it. There are pu puzzle elements to this game. uncle often warned was when danger was most present but quill preferred the stories of the magical oh, cool. creatures so she, well, uh, to protect the, the forest So I like the I like the mechanics. You move stuff with the controller. Where's the old girl at? Oh, the gates are shutting. Well, you're late, Quill. I'm not sure what that stuff is yet, but we'll find out. Oh man, Quill, you're late. Scroll. Hey. Well, before we uh, go down there, let's break all this stuff up because I don't know what this stuff is, but we're gathering something as we destroy these items. <laughs> I love the animation for Quill when she climbs. such a cool world I, and, and be able to sit down in here just kind of like take in this world it's, it's very comforting there's another trophy just racking them up right now this whole village here this, this, uh, woods here Slow it down. All right, I dig that. Run up here. We're gonna try to get cool up top. We got a scroll over here on the left, so let's slow her down. One more time. Yep, 
buddy. So now we go all the way up here. Balancing act as well. One at the top, another balancing act here. Alright, so we got to slow it down right here. Thanks to her new friend, Will had saved priceless grains from the hourglass. Awesome. We figured out how to lower the bridge. She raced to the door of the cottage she shared with her uncle, hoping once he saw her discovery, he'd lose himself in tales of its legend. Uncle Argus was watching the evening light dim when Quill burst through the front door of their cottage. Uncle! Uncle, there's something you have to see! Out past the bell again, he scolded. Quill, I've told you countless times. I know, Quill replied, crestfallen. I didn't mean to worry you. But I found something strange and magical. Will's hands trembled as she showed him the glass. What is it? She asked. A look of panic spilled over her uncle's stoic exterior. Where did you find this? roared Uncle Argus. Will had never seen her uncle so shaken. Just west of the clearing, she explained. And as soon as I picked it up, something started helping me. That's me. Uncle Argus followed her motion. A reader. With you, here, right now? Quill, what you found is very powerful and very dangerous, he said with great concern. If I could take this burden from you, I would. But this reader has chosen. Even with the moon full and bright, I must go right away. Quill pressed. Where are you going? I can help. We can help. No, he snapped. They'll find you and tear you apart. I have to go alone. It is for your own safety and for everyone here in the clearing. His long, heartfelt hug told her he was heading for danger. I'll be back before midnight. Until I return, I need your word you will not leave the clearing with that glass. Promise me, Quill. I promise, she said reluctantly, wondering where her uncle was going so deep into the night. I dig the story so far. Went. I can show you. You're twofold now. Very important. Bring that glass and your sidekick, too. We're going to need them. I don't trust him, Quill. Quill called out. Hey! Starthing, wait! Make sure there's nothing else in this house. Yeah, I see you hidden over there. We collect all these scrolls. We want that trophy. Quill had world never too. met a starving. In campfire stories, they often meddled in the lives of mortals. And when they appeared, mischief followed. Here, here I am following. Oh, there's a scroll right there. I want to get to that one. I'll run up here real quick. Passage through the eastern gate was strictly forbidden. But despite her promise, 
Who knew in her heart that Uncle Argus needed her? I dig it, Quill. Cool. We'll save Uncle Argus. Music in this game already too. Very fan fantasy esque. Get this scroll. Good job. Oh, that's where we gotta go. I see it, game. Cool demanded answers. Starving, you can't just barge in here with your riddles. Where is he? What do you know? Right, let's check for any scrolls. The trouble your uncle's heading for is the kind only you and that silent giant up there can get him out of. This or something. Urge the starving. And don't forget to tuck your ears in. Okay. No scrolls. Here we go. It's a beautiful world they've created here for you to explore. Very ambiance as well. Oh, we've got the moon up there. Great ambiance. There's a scroll over yonder. How are we going to get that scroll, I wonder? Looks like there's a cave of some sort we can come through. Oh, crap. No, 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 oh, cool, I just killed Quill, I got overzealous. Let's right, see, I'm gonna jump on this dog. Ah. I'm gonna do this with Quill on. Right there, there's the entrance. Now it's kind of hidden, but if you go break through it, sneak around. Oh man, deer is pissed. My mouse, dude, relax. It doesn't appear to be anything else hidden in here. Oh, what's this thing? Nothing of importance. We gotta go up here. Break that. All the way around. That's so cool. Oh, we gotta go 
this way. Going around and then jump from that ledge to that one over here. Nailed it. Make sure there's nothing hidden. Doesn't appear to be. Okay, that's where we were at. Let's see what's in here. Just on the other side is the Maya. The starving assured her. There's a good chance your uncle's still there. There's uncle's squirrel horse thing. Oh, easy, well. This is a dreary place with these swords in the water. It's like a burial ground of some sorts. God, this is really, really nice looking. Did you hear that? The starving seemed anxious. I've ruffled enough leaves in these parts. I can't be seen with you. I'll catch up with you later. Just don't go and die on me. <laughs> Thanks, Star Thing. Yeah, this is alright. So let's explore and see what we got through here. Nothing there. Hurry up with this. That looks like that's gonna crack away. Oh, okay, now we're wounded. Oh, cool, so I can heal myself. Yeah, you're welcome. So if she gets wounded, put this little orb on her and hold down R2 and it looks like that revived her some, somewhere. Alright. I'm not seeing a scroll in here. It's not that I can see. Okay, let's push on. Some cool mechanics in this game. I like how they use this orb more than just like interacting stuff. It actually heals Quill, so that's pretty sweet. Alright, so we got a gate here that's stuck. Let's see if we can this. And on this platform. There we go. Can I bring this? I'm not seeing a scroll unless it's hidden somewhere else. Oh, is that it? There it is. It's back there. Okay. Now I see where you're at. Scroll. Come on up the steps. Cool. Just, this, this game feels really good to play. Cool is very responsive, easy to control. Let's see if we can land this jump now. There we go. So it does behoove you to stand up and look around the map because the, the, the scrolls are going to be hidden behind like objects or uh, or, or whatnot uh, on the map. So you want to keep an eye out for those things. Here. Back there, well, there is. Nope, there isn't. Right, we've got a lot of these viney stuff here. Let's it up in case we uh, get into a battle. We want to deal with that. We have to deal with a battle. An arena of some sort. Oh boy. Oh, I knocked it out. Nice. this does to the creature. Like... Oh, I can move him. I have control over him. Can I move him over here? Yeah, Quill. Good on you, girl. 
wins, wins our first battle. A whisper echoed through the trees. Fought like someone who has stolen our champion's power. Oh. A small yet fantastical band of sprites emerged surrounding Quill. I'm Veda, root seer of the mire, and you have crossed into our domain. Uh -oh. She sized up Quill with a rueful gaze, then turned her attention upward. I sense you there, too. I have not felt the presence of such a promising reader in some time. A youthful warrior marched forward. Rootseer, I'm prepared to honor our great champion's legacy. Rodent, give us our glass. <laughs> oh, no. Quill stepped closer. Where is my uncle? If you've hurt him... Silence! Veda thundered back. It was Argus who summoned us here, and now I see why. Young one, I'm afraid the trees hum of attack. Your uncle's been taken to the castle of your ancestors. Quill's knees buckled as Veda continued. Argus put himself at great risk calling for us. Crap, I gotta go save Unk. Your uncle once took a solemn oath to protect the glass of your fallen king. He is the only one left who knows where it's been hidden. The arcane have long sought to wrest that knowledge from him. And do you dare to cross into the mire with our glass? Sarfog will soon burn through this forest looking to tear you and your reader apart. Damn. Unless, of course, you find them first. Well, that's the plan, girl. Take these. Weapons made for the mighty champion who died so that your people could live. Quill felt its otherworldly power course through her. Oh, man, what she got? Find your uncle, Twofold, Ooh, before nice. the serpent and its masters break him. The warrior fumed. Our glass with her? Rootseer, she's minuscule. Come now. The reader has chosen its hero. We must let their story unfold. Veda replied with a frost of finality and vanished into the shadows of the mire. Alright, so we got some new gear. Right, we're gonna scroll away over here. We're gonna do some climbing. Make that jump! There you go. This is so cool. Oh, good. I'm gonna land it. Awesome. Is there any more? Got some sweet moves now. Very cool. Let's go. over here. Door open. Man, that makes it incredibly immersive when you can reach out and interact with the world like that. You really feel like you're, you're, you know, you're going along with the, uh, going, going along on this adventure with Quill. I love that. Oh man, got in here. There's a scroll. It was Quill's favorite story, how Sir Argus fought beside the Sprite Champion to seal this temple from the Arcane, and secured the survival of their kinds. Simply standing in their heroic footsteps felt. 
great honor. That's sweet, so these are all the mighty warriors before twelve. So we'll make our way up here. Another trophy. We gotta get this scroll to leave Quill. Scroll, if there's any in here, we'll find it. Destroy this stuff. I don't know what that stuff is for yet, but I gotta believe it's stuff because you're gaining something at some point. Alright, so we need to figure out how to get Quill in here. Is open. It's in here. Found it. Will sniffs that out like cheese, girl. Right. Oh, there's the scroll in the middle there. It looks like we're gonna have an arena here. We got one, two, three, four, five of those scorpion dudes. Get right to it. Right, Phillips goes right after him. Right, dig it. Dude, come here. I'm not done with you. Oh, I can't. Alright, there we go. If you want to grab him, get behind him. Oh, crap. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, so we can turn it around too. Cool to climb. Never mind. Alright, cool. Let's get this. Oh, no spiders, that's good. I love holding that. When you grab that scroll, the lighting filled up that room. That was pretty sweet. Alright. So we survived that arena. Not unscathed, but we survived. There is the next scroll. So if we can make the jump from up there. Out of the way. This does. Open that gate, huh? Oh man, we 
we got a bad dude. Oh, you know what? I bet you we'll have to use him to uh, keep the door open. Push this in here. Grab him. Put him over on this. We'll move Quill around while he's moving. Run, Quill! There we go. Nice. That's sweet. I like that mechanic, how you can kind of control those things. It gives you the power as the reader to really control the, the area around. Well, that about wraps up our stream of Moss from developer Polyar Games. This is available now on PlayStation 4, PlayStation VR. And I got to say, I am really impressed with what I've played of uh, Moss so far. It's a very immersive experience, and it's a lot different than what we were expecting from VR. I mean, everyone, when you think about VR, you think about a first-person perspective uh, and, and being in the body of the character you're controlling. And this kind of reminds me of... Where we started off with 3D and with the kind of the resurgence in 3D movies a, a couple years back, everyone was all, you know, the, the idea of 3D was stuff flying into your face, coming into your screen. But after a while, these directors started taking 3D to a different level by focusing more on the depth into the screen, getting a look, kind of a glimpse into the world, a, a window into another world, if you will. And that's what I feel like Moss is doing. We're taking this pl a, a 3D platformer and allowing you to kind of feel like you're in the world looking down on the action as you control Quill uh, through the puzzles and through the combat. And I really dig that, that uh, VR is, uh, that these developers are finding different ways to Im implement uh, immersion into VR. It doesn't have to be from a, pers a first person perspective. We've got another game coming out in a couple months called Star Child, very similar. A platformer where you're controlling the character, but you're kind of like sitting in this God's eye view of everything. It's a very cool immersive experience especially when the level design is as strong as the one that we saw here in moss so uh, i really enjoyed what i played it's a very it's it's a very well done game polyar games de deserves a lot of credit for for making the bold choice of focusing on a platformer and uh it, it's paid off in dividends so far from what i played the, the combat is tight the puzzles can be very challenging the section uh, right before we cut that stream that i played ahead a little bit and it's a very difficult puzzle trying to figure out how to maneuver to the next section. So this game will offer a challenge in terms of its puzzles. The combat early on seems like it's manageable. It doesn't seem anything like it's too difficult, but hopefully as we progress, we move through the story, we'll, we'll get more of a challenge from a, from a combat perspective. But overall, the story is very intriguing. I like Quill going out to find her uncle once she finds out that he's kind of in dire straits being held captive. So I'll be really curious to see how this story plays out. But overall, in terms of VR presentation, uh, Moss is, is very, very well done. It's, it's very polished. It feels good. It looks good. Um, no motion sickness whatsoever because you're kind of more of in a stationary position. So that, 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 um, that bodes well for the game as well. So, uh, but no, I really enjoyed it. Uh, we will, I will continue to play through this. I look forward to seeing Quill through to the end of her adventure. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy the exploring VR videos, let us know in the comments what you like about it. If there's any games you'd like us to, uh, to check out, let us know in the comments below or hit us up on Twitter at the short pause or myself on Twitter at the dude. 1979. Again, this has been Moss from developer Polyarch Games. It's available now for PlayStation VR. It's listed at $29.99 so far. I've really enjoyed what I've played. I feel like that price is pretty good uh, for a game of this, um, of this ilk. So, thanks again for watching. I hope you have a great day. Take care.